Hello there. Welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for being here. Please like, share and comment. Also saying a big thank you to you all as subscribers for your love and support. If it's your first time here or if you have been here before and not yet subscribed, please subscribe and support our channel. Today, I'll be showing you how to attach patch pocket on Flesket. Using patch pocket is a good way to add pockets, especially on a skirt without side seams like this one I have on here. This skirt has only one seam at the back and no side seams. So I was able to add and enjoy pockets on this skirt using patch pocket. If you want to know how to, just keep watching. In this project, I'll show you how to attach patch pocket on flare skirt. And here are the items I need. Here is my flare skirt already cut out. If you don't know how to cut out yours, go ahead and use my previous videos. I've put the links in the description below so you can use that to cut out your own flare skirt. I've cut this in half scale just to make it easier for you to see in this video. So here I've cut out a 180 degree skirt or a half circle skirt, but you can use this method of patch pocket for any type of circle skirt at all. You also need the following, some extra fabric for the pocket. So you can use the same fabric or you can choose to use a contrasting fabric or you can even decide to mix the fabrics depending on the design effect you want to achieve. Then tracing wheel, pencil, scissors. Here I have both my paper scissors and fabric scissors. Paint, tailor's chalk, tape measure, pattern paper for drafting the pocket pattern, masking tape to tape it down, a ruler, threads. So I have two different colors of thread because I'm working with two different colors of fabric. And of course my sewing machine. Without wasting any further time, let's jump straight into the project. So here I walk you through the measurements and calculations I have used for cutting out the skirt and the measurements and calculations I'll be using to cut out the pocket. I am working with half scale, so I will be dividing all my measurements by two. The waist measurement was 32 inches. I divided that measurement by two and got 16. And this was the waist measurement I applied for cutting out my flare skirt. Now the skirt length of 31 inches, I divided that by two and used the result of 15 and a half inches. In the same regard, because I'm working with half scale measurements, I will divide the pocket width of eight inches for the full scale by two, and I will use the result of four inches for this half scale skirt. I will also divide the pocket length of 13 inches for the full scale by two, and use the result of six and a half inches. So if you are drafting for yourself, because that is in full scale, you will use a width of eight inches and a length of about 13 inches. You can make it slightly more or less depending on how deep you want your pocket to be. So here I have my flare skirt cut out using the half scale measurements. I have cut it out on the wrong side and I've also marked it to ensure I know the right and wrong side. This is because I'll be marking my pocket outline on the wrong side of the fabric. I cut out this skirt folded in four, but you might have cut yours folded in two like this. It doesn't matter. First of all, let's identify the parts of the skirt. Here is the waist line, and this is the center back line. This is the center front line, and this is the hem. So we really need now to identify the side seam line. If you have your skirt folded in two, what you want to do is to fold it again in two, like so, making it folded in four, and then go ahead and iron this way to get the crease line. I've already gone ahead and ironed this to get the crease line. So if we open it out now, we now need to use this crease line, which will serve as a side seam line and as a guide for marking out our pocket. Remember, our pocket is going to lie on the front side. So here is the center front, and this is the side seam line. So we are going to mark our pocket this way, using the side seam as a guide. Now using our calculated measurements for the pocket, the length is six and a half inches and width four inches for the half scale. Remember that when you are creating yours, you are going to go ahead and use the full scale measurements of 8 inches and 13 inches length. So again, the length is 6.5 inches and 4 inches width for the half scale. So starting from the waist, we mark down the length along the side seam 6.5 inches and then we mark down again from the waist 6.5 inches. 
Now we need to mark the width. The width is 4 inches, so we're going to go ahead and mark the width of 4 inches, like so. So let's connect those two points. Now to mark the width of the pocket on the waistline, let's take a closer look at the skirt shape. Because it's a flare skirt, this part of the skirt is a lot wider than the waist part. To make it proportionate, we are going to take half of the measurement of the width of the pocket that we have here on the waist. Since my pocket width is 4 inches, starting from the side seam, I'm going to measure 2 inches, which is half of 4 inches. Note that on your own full scale, your pocket width will be 8 inches at the bottom part. So on the waist part, it will be half of 8 inches, which will be 4 inches. However, for the purpose of this skirt, which is half scale, my pocket width here is 4 inches and my pocket width at the waist is 2 inches. So I will now connect the 4 inches mark to the 2 inches at the waistline, like so. I'll mark it out on the side seam as well and we have the full outline of the pocket. So having done that now, I have completed the outline of my pocket. Next, I now need to mark out the pocket outline onto the pattern paper. So I place the pattern paper underneath the skirt pocket outline that I've done. Using my masking tape, I'll go ahead and tape it down like so. I will now put the skirt over it, making sure that the pocket outline is well aligned over the pattern paper. So using my pencil now, I will trace the waist part of the pocket. I will then go ahead and use the tracing wheel to trace around the pocket, like so. That's now done, so I take this out and then go ahead and use my pencil to draw the pocket outline following the impression made by the tracing wheel. So we need also to remember to label the sides. So this is a side seam. This is the waist and this is the inseam. The next thing we need to mark now is the pocket opening on the side seam of the pocket. Before we go ahead, let's work out the measurements for the pocket opening. The pocket opening width for the full scale is one and a half inches. So we divided that by two and we have three quarter inches. The length for the pocket opening for the full scale is six inches. So we divided that by two as well and we have three inches. So the pocket opening measurements I'll be using for this half scale pocket will be three quarter inches by three inches. But for your own full scale, you will use one and a half inches by six inches. I hope that is clear. I have attached this page as a downloadable PDF for you. So on the waist, I'm going to measure three quarter inches. I'll go ahead and measure and mark that. And then I measure down three inches for the length. I will now use my curve driller to connect those two points together, like so. So this will be the pocket opening. We can go ahead now and clean off this part of the skirt because we don't need it anymore. So I'll just go ahead and erase that. Now my pocket is ready. All we do now is to apply seam allowance all through. So I'm going to go ahead and apply seam allowance of quarter inch right through. So use half inch seam allowance on your own full scale pocket.
I will now go ahead and cut it out and my pocket is ready. Now for the facing, the width for the facing for the full scale would be one and a half inches. So we'll divide that by two and we have three quarter inches. So we'll measure three quarter inches all around to get the facing. So I'll go ahead and mark the three quarter inches. But I'm going to mark it from the pocket line and not from the seam allowance. So I mark the three quarter inches all through like so. So it means we already have the seam allowance right through this width for this pocket facing. We only need to apply seam allowance this way. So let's stress it out and then we're good to go. So we'll go ahead and trace all around. And then using a tracing wheel, to trace the inseam of it. So that's it. We'll go ahead now and use a pencil to mark it out visibly. Now we need to apply the quarter inch seam allowance also on the inseam. So we go ahead and mark that right through. Now we cut it out. So here is the pocket and this is the facing. So all set. So we have our pocket and we have the facing. We'll go ahead and label it now. This is the pocket, half scale. And this is the pocket facing. Which is also half scale. So we have it all ready now and we're going to go ahead and cut it out on fabric. Next, I'm going ahead to cut it out on fabric. I pin it down. And then I cut it like so. I decided to use contrasting fabric for the pocket facing. So I'm going to go ahead and cut out the pocket facing on this white fabric. So I pin it down as well and cut right through. That is the pocket cut out and this is the facing. Now that's it, I'll go ahead and sew it. Before sewing, we're going to go ahead and prepare the pocket. So we need to iron this. And since it has a slight curve, I'm just going to snip in slightly, like so. You could also decide to use some interfacing on it, but I'm just going to go ahead and sew it that way. So we'll iron in the quarter inch seam allowance. 
just like this. And that's it. We do the same on the other pocket as well. So here I'm stitching it. This is the right side. So I'm stitching from the wrong side because I'm going to flip this over onto the right side to use it as a contrasting pocket facing design effect. So this is the wrong side and this is the right side. So I've stitched it from the underside and I'm now going to flip this over to the right side. But before doing that, I'm going to snip it into the seam allowance, just very slightly. This is aimed at helping it to lie flat. I will now go ahead and top stitch it like so. Notice that I'm sewing with the white thread because of the white fabric. So when I finish all the parts that require the white thread, I will change over to the blue thread. I will now go ahead and top stitch it. So here I'm top stitching it to hold the facing down. So go ahead and iron all the sides following the seam allowance. So I'm going ahead and ironing all the sides using the quarter inch seam allowance. The only part you would not iron would be the waist. So here is the skirt. This is the wrong side. I'm going to place the pocket on the right side. So this is the right side. Following the side seam line, I will use it as a guide for placing the pocket like so. So we align it with the waist line and then pin it down. I will also go ahead and pin the second pocket. So I'll place it as well and pin it down like so. Now go ahead and stitch it. I've already stitched the white part uh, before changing the thread to the blue thread. So I'm going to go ahead and stitch all around it. Using the blue thread for the remaining part. So when you get to the edge, you leave the needle in the fabric, raise your presser foot, and then pivot around like so. Now drop your presser foot and then stitch all the way to the white part. 
So the pocket is now completed. I will now go ahead and stitch the other pocket using the same method as well. So here is a pocket completed. So we'll open it out and see what we have. So there's the pocket, the first pocket. And this is the second pocket. So I will now go ahead and finish up the skirt, close up the back, sew in the zip, attach the waistband. If you do not know how to do all of that, check out my previous video where I have shown how to sew the skirt zip and also the skirt waistband. So I'll complete it now and I will show you the completed skirt. So here is the completed skirt. That is the pocket and the other pocket. I have gone ahead and fixed the zip, done the overlocking and hem the skirt as well. So this is how you apply patch pocket on your flare skirt. So you can see that there is no side seam on this skirt and yet we have been able to achieve a pocket using the patch pocket style. Thank you for watching. Please remember to subscribe if you are yet to. See you in my next video. Bye for now.